7.42 in Trinidad and Tobago. Let's uh, finish up with something healthy uh, because the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee is commemorating its 75th anniversary this month with a Team TTO 75,000 Steps Challenge. Participants must reach a total of 75,000 steps within 75 days of signing up to be eligible for the prizes. Well, the president of uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, Brian Lewis, he joins us now, looking hale, hearty and live and full of energy, despite all of the meetings and different things that we'll have to attend at different times of the day with all of his international connections. Brian, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning and uh, good morning to you, everyone there and all your viewers and uh, yeah it's, it's it's good so like walking you sound, helps you sound like a walking morning show helps, yes. you sound like a morning show host with your perkiness and liveliness this 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 morning no, so, walking helps man yesterday i did um, a walk from st james to macarib it it, it um it really energized me you know because uh, you know i'm trying to get in my 75,000 steps before I, I leave for the junior pan am games weekend all right. So t tell us about tell us about the challenge so that we, we can get as many people right. who would so, like to be involved. So let me just permit me to show this. Stacy Santana, the coordinator of the event at Olympic House, insisted I, I show the medal. Right. It's a lovely gold medal with 75 inscribed on it. Um, it's uh, So it's a 75,000. Of course, it, it seems rather cliche, doesn't it? But, you know, it's simplicity. It's 75,000 steps to reflect 75 years um, in 75 days. And the registration fee is seventy-five dollars, and it, um, you, you just register. You know, in, in keeping with the modern-day generation Z and the millennials, you you register um, www.bafasports.com, and um, when you do your seventy-five thousand steps, you can. Um, there's something you have to do on um, the TTOC Instagram at Team TTO to get some giveaways. I mean, some lucky person, lucky walker will get the opportunity because there has been such a clamor for Tokyo, Team Tokyo 2020 merchandise that I, I believe they're putting on, on on as part of the giveaways, some of that. So that should be exciting. And, and the medal is a really nice medal in keeping it, it is. It is. It is very ten nice goal, indeed. Ten um, goal by, go by 2024 20, aspiration. We are offering the public an opportunity and you and as well as the opportunity to have a lovely gold medal um, in, in commemoration of the TTOC 75th. Is there a time frame for registering for this? I, I know it's 75 days in which to do the 75,000 right. steps. Well, uh, based on the organizing uh, committee for the event led by CT Santana, um, yeah, it, it, it ends, it has been extended. COVID impacted, remember? The entire year was supposed to be the, the acknowledgement of the 75th year of the TGOC founded in 19, established in 1946. Um, so this year has extended it to the 31st of December. So if you, the, the, the longer you take to register means the taller the hill and getting to 75,000. Currently, if you did it now, the average 6,000 steps, which they say is what you need to, to remain healthy relatively. Um, you'll do that in 12 days. So. And it's simple. You can walk, jog, run. People have done it simply by walking around their offices and homes during the course of a day. I mean, it's, it's no limit to say you must put on uh, uh, athletic wear and go around the Savannah or Rockwell Savannah or, or anywhere or Chancellor Hill or the um, Bamboo Cathedral or wherever people go. You can do it in your homes. How, how is it recorded, by the way? How, how, how do people verify that you actually done the so, 75 steps and you're not lying. Right. So so usually there is a when you when you register WW Sports, who have been our partner over the years in, in the virtual events since COVID, um, there is an app you can download and you register it. I think it may be Starva for those who are familiar. But we wanted to, we mean in the China to be going to be committed. We wanted to democratize it a bit because we had a lot of people who weren't inclined to go on Starva. So actually it's it's almost like golf now. It's a it's a on a code. So you, you go on after you register, you would have a prompt, you go on and you have to submit your steps. So it's like submitting your stock card. So we the the, the intention and understanding that people will be scrupulous with their honesty and and, and not try to game the system. 
you wish so there are two elements, in other words. Uh, yes. One using Starver and one where you have to register and pay your $75, which, by the way, goes to the Athlete Welfare and Preparation Fund, the Team TTOC Athlete Welfare and Preparation Fund. So, you know, forward thinking, we move on. And, you um, seem to have a lot of faith. In, you seem to have a lot of faith in people's honesty. I do. It, you, you know, I guess that is sports background. Both you and I and others have grown up in. Of course, you will have those who will disappoint, but in general, um, you're hoping that the sport ethos of um, of fair play and sports man and sportswomanship will will avail. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's fun. It's a way of keeping active and embracing the challenges of, of, um, of COVID. You know, and before, COVID we, talk a, before we talk a bit about uh, the, the imagery that you have behind you with Lennox Kilgore, Rodney Wilkes, and so on, and, and what that represents, um, just uh, as you talk about incentives and 75. So if you're 75 years old and you register for this, anything special? Good point. I, 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 think, I hope Stacey Santana is watching, and maybe that might qualify. That's a real good point. Well done. Um, that will qualify you for a for a special giveaway. Yep. No, that 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 that's that's great. Actually, that was at the head of the class. Well, this is this is Excellent. this is how we irregular people operate. Uh, the, as far as coming <laughs> up with, with different ideas, but tell us about no, that, the. That's a, that's an excellent choice, right? So I'm saying here now. Yeah, I'm taking up that. We listen. We listen. So if you happen to be 75, which would mean you were born in 1946, right? Correct. Right. Yep. You get a special giveaway. All right, so so you heard it here you, first, you don't have to go, right you here. Don't, you don't have to go up onto Instagram because someone born in 1946 may not be Instagram. So yeah, that that it, is it very ageist of you. That is very discriminatory of you to suggest that that, that is very discriminatory of you to suggest that somebody 75 yeah, that's what may I was struggle. Not to, yes, it, it was. It was. Now that you have highlighted, it may have been discriminatory to Generation Z. And millennials. So, 1946. All of you register, and um, there will be a special giveaway added for those born in 1946. And before we remind everybody again how they can register for the event and, and be part of it in the time that is available, tell us about what what, what you have in the background there with uh, the honouring of Rodney Wilkes and Lennox Kilgore and, and their contribution right. to our sporting history. Two absolute legends in any realm, in, in Trinidad and Tobago, who have gone under the radar, Lennox Kilgore and uh, Rodney Wilkes. Um, our first three Olympic medals came from the sport of weightlifting, which is now being re rejuvenated by an interim Trinidad and Tobago Weightlifting Association, um, comprising Stacey Kato, Kwanish John, Anthony Makano, and uh, Nadine Khan. And um, so the Pan Am Weightlifting Federation had their Hall of Fame 2021 induction. And um, the interim with the National Association had put forward Rodney Wilkes and Lennox Kilgore for induction. And they were accepted, and it was yesterday. So it, it was really great. I mean, you know, they I, I think you all know, everyone knows that, that they flew, have probably flown under the radar given the period and time at which they competed. And um, I don't think that it's what I think sports history in Trinidad and Tobago must not forget that the Rodney Wilkes and Lennox Kilgore and the fact that they were the, the first three, this country's first three Olympic medals came from um, Rodney Wilkes too, 1948, 1952, and Lennox Kilgore, Kilgore 1950. Absolutely. So very, it's very important that, yeah. that we remind ourselves of that, Brian. And, and again, as you were saying in, you know, in your opening remarks, you head off shortly for the Pan Am Juniors. Uh, what, do you, what do you think are our prospects in, in that competition? Um, the, the reality is that given the COVID, given the fact that it's mandatory um, vaccinations, um, that, that a number of athletes had problems, especially those at, at university getting time off, um, we, we are going to, this, to be honest, we are going into this game as an Olympic committee, um, more looking at it from a development perspective. Um, you know, looking down the road as we, as we wrap up to Paris 2024. Um, which know, is, which not, isn't too far, know, too far away from athletes, now. Uh, we just, just we've less seen some athletes bounce back. Um, you know, Dylan Carter, Nicholas Paul, um, Nigel Paul. So 
you know, we have to we have to continue pushing on. Absolutely. And uh, just again, give us the contact information for anyone who would like to register for the Team TTO 75,000 Steps Challenge, please. Yes, uh, you can register 75,000 Steps Challenge, a beautiful gold medal. Um, www.bafasports.com. And if you're really having problems for those in 1946, in that era, you can contact uh, S. Santana at ttoc.org. S. Santana, S. Santana at, at ttoc.org. TTOC. Yeah, send, send an email and they will work, walk you through the, the system. Um, as I said, we, we don't want to be discriminatory to um, others who may not be qualified, a generation Z and millennial, okay. given the technology. I think you've put yourself in enough trouble already for, for this morning. Brian Lewis, thank you very I much am, indeed. I am absolutely certain. Thank you very much and hope <laughs> to see you registered for Zero. Well, I, I, I would like to, because I, I, I think I covered 75,000 step, steps in one day, because I'm so indecisive, right. always going back and forth, back and forth, getting nothing done. So, uh, so that, that would be too I, much I would let Mr. Santana reach out to you. So if you see a strange number, to encourage you. I'll call your bluff. All right, no problem at all. I'm happy to take on that channel. Brian, safe travels uh, for you Thank and, you very and, much. and appreciate the team. The opportunity. Take care. Indeed. Thanks very much. Brian Lewis, uh, president of the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, here with us. As we go to the break, here's an image from Ken Mahes. And these look like uh, wild mushrooms. Uh, grow, and, and again, you often see these. If you don't take care of the yard properly, you don't cut everything down quite regularly, they tend to pop up as we pop out for a short while. <laughs>